Okay, start the clock. Holy shit. 46 seconds. That is quick. Hello folks. So uh, this is my tiny pump. Uh, this is made by Flextail Gear. I love this pump. I've had this for about a year. I bought this with my own money and it's one of my favorite bits of kit. Now Flextail Gear make this basic model a tiny pump. They also do something that they call the Tiny Pump X, which has a light on the bottom. And uh, yes, this is an amazing piece of kit for pumping up air beds and such. Flextail Gear emailed me recently and uh, said, we've made a Tiny Pump X2. And uh, they wanted to send me one. This is one of their first batch. Yeah, it's not out on the market yet. It's coming out today, because I'm going to sit on this video until they tell me it's coming out. But I've had this to play with for a little while. And uh, yes, this is the new and improved Tiny Pump X2. But as you can see, original Tiny Pump is a little tiny bit smaller, uh, mostly because of the light or lack of light on this one. So there are little niggles with this, which you know, they've addressed in the Tiny Pump X2. So first niggle being, that rattling is really irritating, especially if it's loose in your bag. The on button is on the base there. And the actual airflow comes out the side of the pump. So when you put it on things, it can just fall off the valve. So if you put something like this one, this valve fits my X-Ped mat. Now, you know, joining that on, is a little bit tricksy because it, it touches on the side of the pump there so it only just fits on and you stand it on your air mat and occasionally it just falls off. The Tiny Pump X2 now has uh, what they call kind of vertical airflow so pulls air through here and comes out here so this is the same valve will fit my X-Ped mat whereas that has a tiny little hole this one has a nice big hole and that fits in there and it's quite a tight fit and you have to kind of ram it in there but it's not coming off do you know what I mean so that's a massive improvement that then fits straight in your mat and it's just going to sit up in the air like that so that works really well obviously <laughs> there is now no rattle because this little hanger is uh, fitted snugly to the, to the bottom of the pump or the top of the pump, whichever way you're looking at it. But yeah, it sort of fits in there and doesn't move until you dig it out with your nail. There is a light on the top. And that's an LED light. And that is a very cool feature. I must say, you know, the Tiny Pump X, a friend of mine's got one and we went on a trip together and he had his Tiny Pump X, which he blew up his air mat with and then hung from his tent uh, as his light because we were doing a kind of lightweight trip whereas I had to carry a tent light and a pump so building in the light to it is a nifty feature this light has three settings uh, and obviously you pump things up with this but you can also use it to deflate things to pull the air out of your air mattress certain mats can be difficult to get all the air out of uh, I found the tiny pump really works well with the X-Ped mat, my down mat, because that's so difficult to get back in its packaging when you finish camping, that uh, I use my pump to kind of pull the last of the air out of it once I've sort of semi-rolled it up and sat on it and done everything I can. I then stick the pump on it and leave it for a couple of minutes and it really sort of pulls every bit of air out of it. So it's got the same feature. You know, if you put the valve on the front, it's gonna blow up. If you put the valve on the bottom, it's gonna pull air from what it's trying to uh, what you're trying to deflate. So tiny pump by name, tiny pump by nature. This is five and a half centimeters by, what are we there? Four centimeters. So it is ridiculously small. It's so packable. And the fact that you get to pump up your airbed and have a tent light in one device, you know, multi-use items are amazing. We all like them. 
the Tiny Pump X, the one with the light on, my friend, I got my friend to send me the figures and that weighs 86 grams. This one weighs 100 grams. So it is, you know, 14 grams heavier, which if you're a real gram counter, maybe that makes a difference. But what do you get for that extra 14 grams? Flextail Gear have told me they've improved the airflow rate of this. Now I don't know what uh, these things mean, but I have a piece of paper here. It says this now is 4.0 kPa, whatever a kPa is. And the original Tiny Pump X was 3.5 kPa. So they've improved it, you know, by a, by a fair few percent. That's the, that's the rate of air. But we're going to have a race in a minute and I'll put it down next to the original and we'll see what blows up the mat quicker. They've also improved the waterproofing on this. This is now IP44 waterproof. And essentially, this is now splash proof in all directions. So it can sit out in a bit of rain. It can get wet, but you can't drop it in a puddle. To be able to take something like this camping, you will in inevitably get bad weather. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna kill it if it gets a bit wet. So that's good. They've also improved the battery life. Uh, my original tiny pump, um, ran for 15 minutes on, on its pump feature, which doesn't sound a lot, but when, it, when you think it takes a minute and a half, for argument's sake, to blow up one mat, that is 10 mats you're getting. So that's a, that's a 10 night trip. You, you're gonna be able to blow up your mat every night. So that's very cool. For an overnight, a two night, a three night camp, you don't need to charge it up, it will last. Uh, so if they've improved that, that's great. And the other improvement in the uh, 14 grams of extra weight is they've put a magnet on the base of this. And I'm a sucker for things with magnets. I do like a light that has a magnet, and this one does. So you can magnetize it onto any piece of metal and have your lamp sitting out, you know, lighting a lovely scene. And for those of you that have not seen the uh, Tiny Pump at all before, you get, you know, all different valves with it. You get a charging cable obviously, you get a little carry sack. You don't have to carry all these valves. If your mat is a XPED mat or a Trackology mat, you know, this valve fits it. If it's a Thermarest, this valve fits it. This is a kind of, you know, silicon one and you can make this fit, you know, just shove it on and kind of squeeze it in place. Or, or stretch it to make it a little bit wider. This one is the universal kind of fits everything job. But these are specific ones. And I've, I've got, I don't know, six, seven sleeping pads. And one of these fits all of them. So I've never had a time where, you know, a valve hasn't fit. All right, so enough talking. Let's have a pump off. All right, this is a Thermarest Neo Air x Light mat. It's my go-to mat for. Let's get this way around. It's my go-to mat for you know walking trips anywhere we want to be saving weight, which is the time when you know that tiny pump X will come into its own because I will use it as a tent light as well as the pump. I've only got one of these mats, so I'm going to do it once with the uh, new pump and once with the old pump, and we'll have a split screen and. Uh, yeah, I'll start it when I click the button on each pump. That makes sense, so we won't have a clock, we'll just race each other. And I might just speed it up a bit so you're not sitting there watching a pump pump for a, a minute or so. So I'll uh, times two or times three the speed. But I will be as honest as I can with it and we'll see if they've made the improvements they say. Okay, Tiny Pump versus Tiny Pump X2. Okay, so that's about 15, 20 seconds quicker than the original model. And 
you know, with all the other improvements, I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, what I do like, you know, the charging port for the original one is just an open slot, and whereas this one, you got the waterproof uh, cover, which clicks into place. There's a little bit that it snaps into at the top. There's the charging port below, so you just, you know, make sure that's shut properly with your finger. They've made a lot of improvements. This is much better than the original, in my opinion. If you already have a tiny pump, is it worth getting a new one? I say, I've had this for a year, and I've had no real complaints about it. The biggest improvement for me is the light on the top, um, only because I bought one without a light on the top originally. So if you already own a Tiny Pump X, is it worth forking out to buy the new one? I don't know, that's, uh, that's up to you. But if you don't own a Tiny Pump at all, this is the one to get because <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, this is amazing, but this is even more amazing. So yes, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Flextail Gear sent me this free of charge, but I can honestly say they are a great product because I say I spent my own money on the original one and I love it. Getting the improved one, I'm very, very happy about it. This one is coming on the market today, tomorrow, something like that. I don't know the exact date at the moment, but uh, when this video's out, I'm sure you can go and buy it. They'll send me a link to where you can buy it from. I'll put it in the description of this video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video if you found it at all useful. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, links in the description, etc., etc. See you later.